We have previous videos for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, we've looked at some of the most powerful and the most fun heroes to play in the game. Now today, sadly, we look at one of the weakest heroes in the game. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Every night, I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers. Welcome to the Beginner's Guide for Scarlet Witch. So in this video, we'll start off with an overview and we'll look at her stats. We'll then check out her abilities. Next up, it's the top 10 team bonuses you can get with her. We then have a look at the synergy attacks that are available. That'll be a nice quick section because she has so few. And then we'll check out the build options and the best ice weight you want to equip on her. Next up, it's the alternative costumes, and then we'll finish off with some endgame gameplay and we'll just summarise everything we've ran over as well. So we'll start off with the overview and have a look at our stats as well. Before we start off with that overview, I feel that I probably should mention that the intro was just being a bit dramatic for a bit of fun. So don't worry too much if you are a Scarlet Witch fan. Yes, you may be pretty weak. But I'm sure you'll still be able to find some fun with playing around with her. Now, we start off anyway here, having a very quick look at the abilities. We can see that three of them are combat abilities. One of them is actually a healing ability, and when we get to that, I'll break down how much it heals you for. She's got the ethereal tag. She has very few synergies, and that's something we'll talk about later on as well. The hero trait is flight, which is a useful hero trait. It's good for the infinity trials where you maybe need to do them in a set amount of time, and there's a, a stage you have to work through because you can fly past the majority of the enemies. When we look at stats, they are definitely on the lower side. Strength is D, but that's not relevant. Vitality is F, so she's really squishy. Mastery, unfortunately, comes in at a D, and that is her primary damage stat. Resilience is a C, durability is a D, and then finally, energy is an A. So on the plus side, at least, you can spam the skills to an extent with her energy being up at A. So that's the overview. Let's now have a look at the abilities. first ability we look at here is Calamity Spheres. This one's actually really nice. The damage is way up at an A. There is potential for synergy attacks, although you can't get a lot from the burst synergy. And also uh, it homes in in the enemy when you fire it off. So you unlock this as our first skill and it will lead to a lot of people playing her when they, they first unlock her and thinking I don't actually get to see the complaints about her. She seems to be pretty fun and pretty powerful, but it's when we look at the later skills, we can see she definitely starts to fall down a bit. When you unlock this second skill, then you really start to see where Scarlet Witch struggles. So this particular one is called Disaster Field. It's a large AoE, it does a small amount of damage. You can see the damage rating is way down at F, and what it does is it actually slows the enemies, which is fun, and it is different, and I don't think any of our characters really have mechanics similar to this, However, the slow isn't powerful enough for how low the damage on it actually is, and casting it leaves you a sitting duck as well, so this is a skill that I really can't recommend you would use much, if at all. This next ability here is actually fairly decent. This is called Hex Bolts, so you release a fan of magic blades in front of the character, you throw them out in a, a cone shape. Now the damage is way up at A, so that's certainly nice, and it actually pierces through targets as well, so if there's a big long line of enemies, you can do a heap of damage. The one downside of this ability is that there's no synergy trait on it at all, and a lot of our characters have attacks that are very similar to this, so I don't really understand why there's no synergy trait attached to it, and if they were to want to make it more effective, then they would just simply need to add that, and that's something they'll hopefully do in a future update. The final ability we have here is one that actually, if it was tuned correctly, would have the potential to make her a really interesting asset to a team, but as it is, it's just simply too weak. So this is Chaos Blessing, and you set a regenerative field of magic that heals allies. Now the first problem with this is you can't aim it, so you need to run up to a boss if there's melee allies that are fighting against it before you can actually drop this there. You can only have one at a time, unfortunately, and also the heal on it, it's 2% every 2 seconds, which maybe doesn't sound too bad, but with how thick and fast damage comes in this game, that simply isn't enough sustain to be meaningful at all. So, like the previous skill, this would just need a small tweak and the, the heal getting slightly buffed and allowing you to aim it, and it would feel so much better. 
But that's the abilities, so let's now have a look at the top 10 team bonuses. For the top 10 team bonuses here we have our usual mix of characters, so up at the top once again we have Elektra, Psylocke and Wolverine, they would offer up to 20%, and 10th spot we have Daredevil, Elektra and Wolverine, they would offer 16%. Now a breakdown of the top synergy, the one that offers 20%, it would be 12% Strength, 2% Mastery, 4% Vitality and 2% Energy, so it wouldn't specifically benefit Scarlet Witch, but as a team it would benefit the likes of Elektra and Wolverine there with that additional Strength. And I will always mentioned in these videos when it comes to team bonuses it's a way to get extra stats in your characters but don't ever feel forced to run in certain teams now the next section we'll look at will be the synergies and this is probably going to be a pretty short section because this is another area unfortunately where scarlet witch falls down When it comes to synergy attacks then the only one available because she's only got one synergy trait is burst and that can only in turn proc two different synergy attacks mega blast and calamity so your options are exceptionally limited with scarlet witch when it comes to synergy attacks do not run her in a team if you're looking to do an infinity trial it requires a set amount of synergy attack damage now the top five characters that synergize with her and this top five they only have one attack each that would synergize uh, it's black widow crystal electra hawkeye and then loki the uh, bottom five and they would actually be more than this but i'm just trying to keep the format in these videos similar but it would be daredevil thanos spider-man nightcrawler and hulk they all have zero synergies and as mentioned there is actually more than five but i just don't want to list them all here really in short she doesn't have a lot of a synergy attacks that's the, the simplest way i can actually put it now the next section we'll look at will be the iso 8 and the build options that are available When it comes to the build options that are available, unfortunately she doesn't have any way of boosting the heal or potentially increasing the potency of the slow. It would be really nice if that was the case, but it isn't sadly. So the only real option you would want to run with her would be a pure damage build. Now that would consist of increasing the crit hit of ethereal attacks by 11.1% because all of our attack skills have the ethereal tag. You would then go for increase the damage of ethereal attacks by 19.2%. If you don't have them droppings, they can be relatively rare. In the short term, you can use the increased mastery by 13.7% because that will boost ethereal and energy damage. So that's the build option. Let's now have a look at the alternative costume. The alternative costume for Scarlet Witch like the other heroes in the game at the moment is just a simple recolor. It changes from the red colour to I think it's a kind of purple lilac colour she has here. Now this particular costume is not unlocked through a solo infinity trial, it's just unlocked through gameplay when you're working your way through the superior story mode. So let's now finish up with uh, an overview of everything we've covered. So Scarlet Witch then is by far the weakest character I've actually had a look at yet. Now I will mention the fact though that the difficulty in the game, once you actually get your ice weights and you start to level up your team and your alliance enhancement tree, even on ultimate difficulty, it really isn't that hard at all. So if you're a Scarlet Witch fan, you can still use her to get through the content in the game. So don't in any way feel put off playing a character just because potentially I may say that they are weak in one of these videos. If you're a Scarlet fan, go for it and have a whole lot of fun playing around with her. Now, because I don't want to just come in and just be negative about her, I would just stress the fact that with a few small tweaks, she could be really fun to play. She needs more tags on her skills. She needs the heal slightly increased and for you to be able to actually aim that heal. And she needs the potency of the slow increased as well. Then that can make her a really nice, unique hero. So hopefully in time, we will see some updates to characters. So as always, I hope this video has been been useful let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my analysis of wonder and also if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit the, the like and share button leave a comment below because that helps drive engagement and make sure your comments all to do with the next character you would like to see me cover and thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all again soon